so um, if you can hear me, give my thumbs up. Velvet Bell says, hey, hey, Tamika. Hey, Velvet Bell, if you can hear me, can you give my thumbs up? Because, okay, I'm in the garage and I have it up and it is like pouring down rain. But, um, there we go. So, I'm going to get right into it. So, I want to talk to you guys about the cucumber mosaic um, virus. Precious, so okay, I'm going to say hi, Mr. You just dropped in to say hi. Taking a garden class now, so I'll have to catch you next time. Okay, Precious, no problem. Thank you for stopping in. Beverly Bell said, I hear the rain. Andrew said, hi, sis, what up? Hey, Andrew. Um, so, I cooked squash um, for lunch today. Oh, my goodness, it was so good. Like, I just finished eating. But I noticed something last year with my squash plants, and I haven't um, mentioned it to you guys this year. So since um, everything is, you know, producing and we're harvesting and all that stuff, I wanted to bring it to y'all attention. So y'all know my squash plants, a lot of my squash plants I bought from Lowe's, all right? And y'all remember, um, what, about a week or two ago? I was doing a garden tour and I told you I had some squash plants that looked it weird. Like they had the green and yellow one of it and it wasn't growing much. And remember, I, I don't know if you remember, but I um, said I wanted them out of my garden. So we took them up and threw them away. So it's gardening time. Hey, how you doing? So, um, we threw them away, but the, the squash plants that I got, I bought from Lowe's, okay, and I think some was already rough, because all the ones that I started from C ain't got no problem. So, I wanted to show y'all, so I cut open some, and it seemed like I cut open, I, I done cooked the ones that was really, really green, but I got some right here that I want to show you. Your yellow squash, whether it's your crook neck squash, um, or your um, straight neck squash, some of them, my crook neck squash are the bumpy ones, and my straight neck um, squash are the smooth ones. But either on the outside or the inside, when you see, let me get close for y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it on here. But when you see, like, that green texture, um, the ones I just ate was even greener. Like, I, I don't have a picture. I wish I was trying to find it. But it was my first batch, um, my first harvest. I don't know if y'all can tell on here, but I can tell it has a green color in here. That is called the cucumber mosaic virus, okay? And it's a virus that's actually spread it, uh, by like sap sucking insects like your aphids and stuff like that. And what it do is it will eventually kill the plant. And it's one thing you need to know, it, it, it spreads like crazy. Like it spreads crazy. So with me, I rather take the soil and the thing and the um the plant and throw it away. Okay, if that's what you want to do, you can still eat your squash. Okay, it affects melons, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, and things like that. It's not harmful to the human body. It's not harmful to us, but it's harmful to you know plants. It spreads throughout your garden. So if you see, and it's up to you if you want to eat it. But if you see any green, um, like these is not good ones to show, but any green, this one is a little bit more greener. Probably could see this one. I don't know, the camera ain't helping. But like I say, the ones I just cooked was even greener. They It looked like a cucumber in the inside. Um, that, that's what that is. And everything that I know about it, you can eat it. It won't bother you. So if you cut your zucchini, I mean your squash or something open and it's green, research the, the cucumber mosaic virus and you will see that you can eat it. But you have to be careful with it in your garden because like I say, it will spread like really, really quick, okay? It will spread. Um, it's gardening time, so your nails are beautiful. Oh, thank you, honey. Honey. I don't know if y'all been following me. Some of y'all has been following me, 
for a while. No, that's one of my things. My thing has always been keeping my nails done. That's like, you know, I don't I don't do the I don't do a lot of stuff. I'm mostly natural. Try to be natural as possible, but I love getting away, getting my nails done. And when the pandemic hit, I stopped completely. Like, I stopped. So it was my first time yesterday going to the nail shop and girl I was up early I was when I went when I pulled into the nail shop the one I know I go to they was propping the door open I was there that early <laughs> and he was like you ain't been here in forever I was like uh you know it's a pandemic going on that's why I hadn't been here because every two to three weeks I'm there and I was like so he's like you want to do your you I'm like no I'm gonna start I'm gonna start my own and get back into it and then I'll go with you know my designs and colors and stuff like that but girl when I went in there I was I was looking all around because the first sign of something I didn't like out the door I was going but it was cool um I feel good about going there because they have like the shield up like he he had his mask on I had mine they had the shield up so you just stick your hands in between like through the little hole and they work on your hand like that but it still has the shield and even with the pedicure um even though you're in like the little massage chairs they still at this particular one they have a shield that they have stood in front of it now so you sit and you just put your feet like it has a cut out and you just put your feet under there so i was really really happy because i was like you know what because it was another nail shop here somebody had told me about it. i had never been there and i'm glad that's why i like to stick to what i know and she was like oh we don't have no requirements uh we ain't we ain't limiting anything anymore none of that you can just know i'm saying to myself now i ain't even gonna waste my time coming there because i'm not gonna be comfortable i know everything has been lifted in my area but i still want to be safe as possible so so I was like, go to where you normally go before the pandemic started and just check it out and just see. And one thing that I like, when I came, he was like, um, they take appointments. So to keep a lot of people from in there, they take an appointments. But his, they opened at 930. I was there at 930. He had a 930 appointment that didn't show up. So he took me um, instead. And so it was smooth. Only one more appointment came in and she was getting her feet done. And so the whole time it was just the two technicians, me and the other girl, and they had everything like spaced out still, even though everything is lifted and stuff, um, they still following, they still being safe. And so I'm like, okay, I can, I can go and get my nails done, honey. I can go get them done. I was so excited about that. Cause like I say, that's been my, my thing is to, you know, Keep them done. If I don't do nothing else, that's what I wanted to do. So thank you so much, girl. Thank you. Um, Andrew said, I would like some of that rain now. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can take it. It's been raining for mm, two days. Two days now. Yeah. Uh, Baby Bell says, so it looks like a cucumber and squash cross pollinated. Yes, that's what it looked like. It looked like a cucumber in the inside. Um, has that light green and some of mine, like I say, I, <laughs> I, I, it seemed like, um, cause the, the batch, this batch right here came, came from my harvest I did the other day. The batch I cooked today, I had already washed and put in the refrigerator and I hadn't cut it, but I cooked it for lunch today. So that's why I think this batch don't have it as bad as the other batch, but my first batch had a lot of the, um, the green in it. Um, so, but like I say, you can look it up. You can still eat it. That's up to you if you eat it. We ate it today, okay? We ate it last year because um, a couple of my, and, and if come to think about it, all the squash that I bought from Lowe's, um, a lot of it had the green in it. So I don't know if it's in that, but I'm getting around to where I'm just, you know, this year I got it start. I got started a little late as far as dropping the seeds because I was focused on the indoor stuff that I was trying to grow for y'all, um, for everybody that, that don't have a yard. So I was a little late, so I went and bought the seedlings. And then remember we had the frost, the unexpected frost, and I went and bought more. So I'm thinking something happened with the weather because the weather can cause, you know, different viruses and stuff. But I wanted to bring it to y'all. So you can look it up. Like I said, it's the cucumber mosaic virus. You can look it up. Um, the only thing about it, it may, it may, it looks like a cucumber on the inside, and 
in some cases, uh, like a little bit of it that I had, it kind of tastes like a cucumber, but I like sauteed cucumbers. So, we ate it. <laughs> we ate it. Look, I grew it. It say I looked up. It says it's not harmful. Well, I, I knew about this last year because a lot of my stuff, a lot of my squash last year had that little color into it. And I did have some cucumbers last year that was kind of greenish in the inside more than your normal. So that's when I found out about it here. Now, back home when we used to grow, we didn't have that problem. But I do know the weather and stuff, different climates and stuff like that bring out different bugs and stuff and different things. And it's just, you know, so if anybody is cutting on some squash or some cucumbers and you see that, like I say, that's up to you if you want to eat it. But it's not harmful. From everything that I know about it, it's not harmful um, to you. But it is, it does spread. It is like a type of poison when it comes to the plant. And it's spread in the garden a lot. So, um... Bella Bell said, oh yeah, her self-care is getting her nails done. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's part, because I don't know if y'all, because I, like I said, if you've been following me before the pandemic hit, I go get my nails done, my feet done, my eyebrows arched, and my hair cut for, un, for right at $100. <laughs> right at $100, because I remember I had said, it only take $100 a month to keep me together, because I make my nails last long as I can, about a month, and then I will go and get my hair cut. That, that's something else I miss. I, I ain't there with going to the barbershop yet. I, I ain't there. So, hubby has been cutting my hair, but I miss my little part, and every y'all know if you've been following me, I, I, I was set to the way I wanted my appearance. So I miss my part because he is not putting a part in my head, okay? I miss my lineup. All I tell him to do is just put the guard on and take me down to a one or take me down to a two. But before the pandemic, nails, feet, eyebrows arched, and a haircut, $100 for the whole month. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's all it took because my haircut was like $12. Eyebrows, you get them done at the nail shop, was $8. And then you get, get your nail, get some mani and your panty done, and I was good. $100, that was my maintenance. But like I say, I ain't ready to go to the... The bob shop yet i'm not mm -mm. no 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 i didn't even get my eyebrows done at the nail shop and because you're too close to my face to do that i let me start off slow just deal with my hands i'll be back to get my feet done because i didn't have an appointment so i didn't want to push it um to do that so i was like i'll be back because i i like how y'all how y'all doing things but He's like, you, you, you know I'm going to get your eyebrows. Yeah, but you're going to be in my face to do that. I need to build up to that. So, yes, Belly yes, Bell. Bell, Bell. Andrew says, my sweet pepper is sending out flowers. And I saw little sweet peppers, but when I touch the tree, they dropping off. Oh. Um, hmm. Trying to think what the, what that could be if they are uh, falling off. You say they're sweet peppers, huh? Because I do know sometimes, like you know, like with tomatoes and anything like that, you do have some of the ones that drop off. They very fragile, but I ain't gonna tell you something I don't know. I don't know if it, if they just really fragile and just falling off. Or if there's a reason um, why, but I will look into that for you. Or is anybody else in here that know that knows um, why his peppers could be so fragile? Um, Lavender for Lux said hello, Miss and everyone. Hey, Lavender for Lux. Um, Andrew says they now starting. Hope I get some sweet peppers. I think you will. They probably just really, really um sensitive right now. Um, because sometimes it happens. Sometimes the flowers fall off. Sometimes the peppers and stuff fall like the but my tomato plants sometimes they'll fall off prematurely. Um sometimes it happens. It happens. Then I, we're gonna say they're gonna be fine, okay? Um Tiffany Brown say you can have our rain too. <laughs> I know it's thundering and all that yes andrew said lol bougie prepper i said hello hi hey bougie prepper andrew said i'm getting all the sun and heat i know that right the sun came out and 
I was like, okay, I can go out there and harvest my beans because I need to harvest beans. And right when I started getting my stuff together, so I went back in and it started, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, Andrew. Okay, I read that. Queenie Walker. Hey, Queenie Walker, how you doing? It says, hi, everyone. It's gardening time. That's a deal for $100. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll take it. Like, I'll take it like like the nail, these nails. Like I said, I started off slow. I just got just the color and the tilt. And it was $40. So when I normally get when I normally get it, like if I do designs or anything like that, I don't go over $50 if I want to do extra. So, and normally I do extra. If you've been following me, I do extra. I was just like, let me just keep it simple for my first time coming back getting it done. <laughs> um, but normally, so this is say 40. Um, we said 50. And then my pedicure would be like 30. So this is what, like 80? And then I go get a haircut. It'd be like $12. So that's 92. And then if I get my eyebrows done, that you add another eight dollars. So little like one oh two, something like that, and I'm done for the month. Um that's that's my maintenance. So yeah, so can't beat that with a stick. Lavender for Lux said I cared for me yesterday. It was wonderful. Girl, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like just going to get them done. Just, and you know, being comfortable there, being comfortable, you know, trying to still be safe and all that. It was amazing. You hear me? It was amazing. Like I said, he was like, I, I could, I, my, my 930 didn't show up, you know. I could do your eyebrow. I'm saying to myself, I'd rather you do my feet. But uh, I ain't going to push it. So I didn't say nothing to him. So um, next week, if it's God's will, I'll probably just call them and set up an appointment since I know now because they didn't used to do appointments so since since I know now um, because of um, the situation they do appointments so I did but I'm still I just said my eyebrow is just gonna be wild and all that because uh, I ain't ready for them to be in my face but girl I understand I understand I understand it feels so good um Queen Walker says, my zucchini has flowered, but I don't see the male. I think it, wait a minute, I don't see the male. I think it's just female. Are you saying you don't see the female? You think it's just the male? Um, just give it time. I mean, because once it flowers, you can't determine, you can't determine what's going to come. I would say just give it time because some of my stuff, flowered and a lot of the males came before the females i did notice that so give it time honey they'll come they'll come okay you don't see the male you see the females oh, oh. okay yeah because normally i see the males and then the females come later um y'all let me close this garage this light hold on I know, right? I know. 
I know. I, I went in there with some anxiety, okay? Until I seen everything. And I, I had two masks on. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, I had two masks on. I put on one of the disposable masks. And then I put my cloth mask over. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I sure did. And I kept it on the whole time. Both masks. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, let's see. DJ's DJ. Ch I, you know, DJ. You know, I can't say your last your, your last name. But DJ is in the house. Hey, DJ. Lavender Luck. Lavender for Luck said, "Okay, uh, so I'm." planting potato slips today. Any advice? Put them in the store, cover them with some dirt, add some more water, and let them do what they do. That's the only advice I got. I'm growing all type of potatoes now. My second round of potatoes this year. And I can show you my first round, which I need to get these little things out of here. Let me show y'all. Y'all remember the harvest that I did? It's been, what, three weeks now? So they need to be going in a skillet or something because I still got them out here in my garage and boxes, y'all. I ain't, I forgot. I forgot. Hold on. So, y'all. Y'all remember that potato harvest that I did? So I bought them. I put them in boxes. Can y'all see? I put them in boxes and sawed them out here. I got to get them because I look like one in there trying to mold. And I don't want to lose them. And these are the um, Yucatan Gold. So this is my first batch. My second batch is growing. And um, my second batch is growing, and so I'm doing the Adira, um, is it Adira Blue, Adira Black, or something like that, potatoes, the colorful seed potatoes, and then the rusty potatoes, which was the potatoes that I got from uh, Food Lion. And they, they had started sprouting. So I put them in the dirt, put some um, soil on them, and everybody is already growing up and everything like that. So that's all, honey. That's all I do. All I do. I um, water them like you can do anything else. When I water everything else, I water them. Um, let's see. Andrew said, I prefer to plant Slip sweet potatoes though they grow well here. Get it, Andrew. My sweet potatoes didn't come up, so I'm gonna have to get some slips and if I can find some somewhere, probably have to order them and try them again. My sweet potatoes didn't come up though, and I, I'm thinking it was something wrong with maybe the slips because all the rest of my potatoes came up and it's coming up with no problem. Um, let's see. Sheila says, hello everyone, most plants will put on male flowers first. Yeah, but she said she got female flowers and no males, because I know I normally would get the male flowers first. Um, Lavender for Love said, I'm going to do sweet potatoes next. I just forgot I purchased them and they have eyes on them. So I'm jumping in. Get it, Lavender for Luck. Get it. Lavender for Luck say, okay, thank you. I'm putting them in the dirt. Yes, honey. Get them in some dirt. <laughs> Andrew says, okay, give them some more depth. The slips next time. I will, I will. Maybe it was that container that I have and I, I was supposed to put some more soil on them and I didn't. So it might have been my bad. I did in that particular uh, container. But I have some more, I have the Adara, um, the Adara potatoes growing in there now and I, I didn't add no more soil. But they doing good. They didn't already came up and everything but I need to add more soil. So I'll do that. DJ said, you jamming any old school today? Not yet, but you know it's coming, DJ. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. 
Um, I had said I was gonna do a uh, a short, y'all, cause I was just so happy with um, YouTube. Even though, even though, um, you know, it's just for fun, pretty much, because you can't do anything uh, for us because of the copyright stuff. But I was so happy that they let us be able to do shorts using the music thing. Because I thought y'all were going to be like, this chick done lost her mind. Um, but yeah, you know it's coming these days. Every day. Every day, okay? Um, it's just that I had to have my daughter at the testing site. Because she had her math test today. And I knew it was going to be long because she takes calculus. And that is a, yeah. And she had to be there at 8.30 this morning. She didn't get through until 1 o'clock. So that's where I've been all day. Is we ran a couple of errands and stuff. Came back and signed. was like, okay, she'll be done. It's been about two hours. She'll be done. No, 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 no. We ended up sitting there um, at least three good hours. So, yeah. Um, and you said, wow, that's thunder. Yes, Andrew, that's thunder. Um... DJ said, I'm going to listen to some Stevie Wonder. Get it, get it, get it, DJ. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so for those of y'all that's just coming in, um, this live was basically um, about the, the greenery that you may see in your squash plants. Um, so I just wanted to bring, because I know it's a lot of new gardeners, um, on here and I wanted to, I didn't want you to open up your squash and then you'd be like, oh man, this don't look like it's good. I'd be scared to eat it. I wanted you to know what it is. And also, like I said, be careful with with um, that virus when it comes to your garden because it will spread. And it's coming in cucumbers, squashes, zucchinis, and melons and stuff like that. But, like I say, everything says you can still eat the fruit. It just may taste like a cucumber or look like a cucumber, either or in the middle. But um, if you're going to take care of it, take care of it quickly. Like, get it out your garden because it will spread, okay? It will spread. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss nobody. So yeah, y'all. So as y'all can see, I didn't make it back to finish dropping these seeds <laughs> at all. Come on, phone, turn for me. Some okay. Um, Andrew says, Miss, you know the baby bubble squash. Are those small Oprah three three? The baby bubble squash? I've never heard of that. And you said the small Oprah? I'm guessing tree. Uh-uh. Like huh? I haven't heard of those, um, Andrew. What's that about? What what what's that about? Misunderstood Garden said hello everyone. Hey, Misunderstood Garden, how are you? How are you, honey? How are you? Um, Karma Lee said hey, hey, Karma Lee, how you doing? Andrew, sorry, Patty Pan Squash, yes. Um, am I wrong? I got some Patty Pan. Oh, did it not germinate? Yes, but I grew patty pan squash last year. Oh my goodness. So good. And I love the way they look. Let me see. What is that one I'm growing now? Because I got some squash I started from seed. What is this? What is this? Um, it looks like patty pan. But I know I got some seeds for patty pan. I have to look. I have to look. But yes, I grew that one last year. Oh, tastes amazing. Amazing. Okay. Um, DJ said, are you going, are you good at ident identifying plants? 
Um, yeah, I would say pretty much. Unless it's something awkward. <laughs> yes, pretty much, pretty much. Um, the DJ said, I have a volunteer coming up. Ooh. DJ, is you, is you in the Facebook group? If you're not in the Facebook group, um, that because I created that group, I don't be in it that much. I do go and see what everybody is posting and stuff. But I'll, I'll put that there to kind of help for us to help each other out, you know, like I doing things like that. So if you post it there, I can take a look at it. Or you can email me a picture of it if you want to, whichever way is fine. Um, or if you're on Instagram, I have information that I posted in the community tab today. Uh, because some of you guys have been wanting to like send me personal messages and stuff. You're not, you know, you're not into the comments and stuff like that. Um, just different things. So in the community tab, I did post a list of ways to contact me and stuff. So whichever way you want to do it, honey, um, you can send a picture and I can try my best to tell you what it looks like, okay? Um, Andrew said, I don't see that that kind here. What, the patty pan squash? Um, did I buy my patty pan squash? Let's see. I got my thing right here. Trying to see, did I buy it from the store or did I order it? I know I had it last year. Um. If I can find um a pack of it, let's see. Lavender for Lux said, where did you purchase the heirloom seeds from? Oh, different places, honey. Different places. I have seeds from Fairy Morris. I have seeds from Burphy, from uh, Baker Creek. Just so many. Then I, then I have, I have bought some heirloom seeds from like Lowe's um, and Home Depot and stuff like that. So, just different places, honey. Huh? Different places. I actually want to um, open all my hybrids and go ahead and get those out of the way because from here on out, I plan on just buying all heirloom. But I got them from different places. Um, Andrew said they are called Bubba Okra Three, I think. Never heard of those. Never heard of those. Um, nope. Let's see. Um, as far as okra, I have just the red burgundy and the, uh, um, is it the Clemson Spineless Okra? I think I said that right. Um, those are the two that I grow mainly. But that's what I say. I'm looking for, I'm looking for, um, like different type of things like that. That's what I, I, want, I want to try because I'm open to trying all type of vegetables and stuff. And especially the the unique ones. Oh, y'all, it's getting hot. Let me turn some more. It's getting hot now. Oh, okay. Well, I see if I can find. See if I can have any. Harmony said, patty pan looks like a patty, a hamburger patty for a squash, yellow, green, or green or white. Yes. I'm trying to see if I have any more. Like I said, that, that thing was good. Last year, y'all, that thing was really, really good. Very tasty. Okay, so these are my squashes. Company, it's 
it's um, called something else. So, and then there's one, I gotta see if I have it out there, the lemon squash, I think I'm growing that one. I wanna do that one too. Um, I haven't tried that one, so, like far as eating it, um, but I want I want to try the lemon squash. Let's see. Queenie Walker says it's been raining here in Cleveland for two days. It's going up to the nineties in the next couple of days. Do you think my cabbage will be okay? Oh. Honey, I'm going to be honest. My experience with cabbages and most brassicas, I don't care how much you water them things. When it gets really hot, the bugs, the infestation in them comes about, and it's really hard to keep them good in that. In 90 degrees, that's very hot for most of the brassicas. So I would say... If it was me, if they are developed and they, they are at the stage um, of eating, picking and eating, they may not be the size that you want them to be, but they are a good size for you to consume safely, I would say pick them before that 90 degree weather comes. I would say pick them because I know here in my area, don't eat a it ain't working for me. And like I've been a couple weeks ago, I got rid of all my brassicas um, because of and like I could have soaked it and got the little bugs off, but it just when you're looking at it and, and it was so many, I knew I couldn't eat it without thinking about it. So I, if it's me and that weather is coming, I would get them somewhere where it's kind of cool um, and just see how it goes. Because they are really cool with the crops. Um, Lavender for Love said, Will you also add Miracle Grow on your heirloom plants as well? I sure will. Yep. Yep. That's my fertilizer. That That's just, it's just easy and simple for me to use. Yes. Yep. Um, Andrew said, I only see the butternut squash here. Oh, wow. And I'm growing butternut squash. I grew those last year, and they are so much fun, so especially the baby ones. The baby butternut squash, those things are fun to grow. To me, they are. Um, 2%. Hey, honey, how you doing? It says, hello, Mississippi, and everyone. Hey, 2%. Andrew says, okay, Carmelie said, you are telling the truth. They do look the same. Yeah, they do. And they call different things. Um, depending on the, the, the company, they are named them differently. So, yep. Um, Precious SoCal Gardner said, I'm back. Well, welcome back, Precious. Carmelie said, my broccoli will be in the ground in September. Yes, who cool were the crops, Carmelie? Um, Andrew said, yes, the cabbage doesn't take the heat very well. No, at all. Not at all. Nada. <laughs> Sheila Anderson said, the leaves are delicious. I mix the greens. Ooh, that sounds good, Sheila. Carmelie said, butternut squash doesn't attract squash bugs. Um, Carmelie, are you doing the... Which one are you doing? I didn't have any issues with squash bugs on my butternut squash last year. Nope, nope, nope. And you know what? Somebody commented um, on the video that I did yesterday where we got the little yellow, the little orange and black beetle off the squash. And they commented and was like, please leave the bugs alone. I don't care how beneficial it can be. When I see you sitting there, eating the leaves off my plants i'm looking at you eating the leaves off my plants i don't care how many aphids you you will eat and stuff like that i got some for those 
You know, I'll take care of those. You eating the leaves off my plants, you got to go. So, um, some I saw a comment with somebody say, you know, please didn't they eat uh, they eat all the bad bugs and this is this. Well, he was eating the leaves on my plant. So y'all, we went out there um today and that same type of bug was still well it was a different one, of course. We got rid of the one yesterday. Was there eating the leaves? I'm mean, just going in the circle eating the leaves. So he had to go. That one had to go today too. So like I say, everybody garden different. I'm gonna take the bugs out, okay? I'm gonna use Miracle Grow. I'm gonna use the spray that I that I do. That's what I know. So everybody going different. You know what I'm saying? And there's no right way. So you know this individual. I know they probably just trying to be helpful. But listen, I I don't like the bugs, especially if they eat my, my stuff. You know, I'm big on leaving the leaves, much leaves on my plant, and I told y'all so many that that helps the plants out so much. So if you are here eating my leaves, then you know you gotta go. You gotta go. Um, let's see. Super says that I'm great. Nice summer day. As always here in Cali. Oh my goodness. I wish I could come to Cali to visit. Um, as you said, in the midday, my cabbage leaves drop from the heat. But in the evening, they come back up nicely. Yup, they sure will. Carmelie said butternut, yellow crook neck squash, and blue covered are for people like me. <laughs> I don't like to fight bugs. I understand. I understand. I understand. Um, I found a couple bugs on my yellow crook mix watch. So, yeah. Yeah. But it's all good. It's all good. As long as they, you know, ain't causing no damage. But like I say, you eating, you got to go. Got to go. Um... I have to pull y'all close because this phone, oh, it's about to die. And I need to be able to read y'all messages. Lavender for Lux said, I agree, bugs are a bust. <laughs> yes, yes. Andrew says our rain season starts here from June. From June. Wow, wow. I'm surprised here because we don't never hardly get no rain. But the last couple days it's been like, yeah, we're going to do it. Danak says, hi, I'm late. Hey, you okay, Danak? You okay? Just watch the replay um, if you want to know about um, the title of this with the squash and the discoloring and everything like that, but it's okay, the Knox is okay. Andrew says, well, the hurricane season start here from June. Yes, 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 yes. Um, same for us. So, yeah, our last um, kind of major hurricane was 2018, it was Florence. And the way the weather is going here now, I don't know what to expect. Just trying to be prepared for the for the worst. That's all we can do. Be prepared for the worst. Um, yeah. But yes, y'all. So whew. I need to vacuum seal. The rest of my squad, I'm trying to think, because I got to do the zucchini bread video this week. So, I left zucchini in the refrigerator purposely for those. And I have, so the squash harvest that I had, we ate that today. So, I have this harvest that I got to put up. Um, Andrew said, I hope you got the fence on the Andrew, no, they came yesterday, the first time since they came, the first time back since they 
tore the fence down, what, a week ago? And they came back and they put the post in. I own some of the posts. They were supposed to come back today, but like I said, with the weather, it's been raining for two days. I think that's delaying them. And then we had the holiday and stuff like that. So the, the fence is nowhere near being finished. And I'm ready to get my garden back in order. Everything is bunched up and stuff, and I can't, it's, I'm just ready for it to get finished. Um, but it's nowhere near it. Velvet Bell says, got to close out the live stream and go run some errands. Thanks for letting me hang out with you, Tamika. Hello, Mr. Bam. All right, Velvet Bell, Bell. Thank you for coming in. I really, really appreciate it. I had fun. Thank you. Be safe. Please be safe and enjoy your time running your errands. Andrew said, LOL. <laughs> I know, Andrew. Like, yeah, I'm ready for that fence to be done. Okay, I'm ready for it to be done. Um, but that gives me time to do stuff in the inside, I guess with all the rain and stuff because like i still have it y'all remember the clearance fines that all that stuff from the clearance fine is what you see back here i still ain't put that stuff up yet because it's just so much that i be trying to do um you're welcome velvet bell you're welcome um indigo indigo ken 33 peace queen just bought some miracle grow for the first time for my squash. I'm new at gardening. Thanks for sharing your videos. Thank you so much, um, Indigo Ken 33. And congratulations on your first miracle grow, okay? <laughs> um, I'm glad, um, I'm glad um, you're starting to garden. I'm happy for you. The Knox said, I think the South is going to be really rainy this year. I can see, I can see that. I can see that happening. Um, I can see that. Cause like I say, we didn't, we didn't normally get rain here. Coming from back home where it was rain almost every week to being up here and it wasn't on no rain. Now this year is like already but we did go some weeks where we needed rain. It was so hot. It was like 100 degrees, like literally not exaggerated. The outside temp was 99. So now it's just dumping rain. Um, the Knox said, we have five days of rain coming in. Wow. Wow, yeah. Because I think it's supposed to still rain tomorrow. We've been raining for two days. I think today is like the third day and then it's supposed to rain tomorrow so yeah it's been raining throughout the night and everything karma lee said i planted my old bag of food line potatoes after watching you they're doing good yes karma lee yes mine's is doing the same they coming up with no problem with no problem so yes i'm so happy Good potatoes. Are they the, um, I'm doing the full line ones that I had was the Yucatan Gold. Which one do you have? Which one did you plant? So, yes, y'all. So, anything you can get in the ground, I say do it. And just like, you know, like I always say, just have fun. Just have fun. Bo uh, Bougie Prepper says, do you, do you do a rain catchment system? I think I'm going to attempt because my plants are covered by balcony. No, not yet. I am working on getting me a, um, a rain barrel. Um, I got a couple buckets out there that can catch water, but I really want a rain barrel. So I am working on getting me one of those, one of those. Um, you should try it, Bougie Prepper. You should try it. Sheila says, I think you are right on the rain. We have... We have had 17 days straight and forecast until next Saturday. What, Sheila? 
17 days straight. Oh my goodness. Harmony said, Food line rusted. Them the same. No, did I say I had the Yucatan gold? No, I the Yucatan gold is the ones I had that I harvested. I do. The the ones I got are the rusted, um, the rusted Carmelie, the one that's growing now. Um, Indigo Ken33 says Southwest Georgia zone 8B. No rain. It's been dry for about a month. Wow, Indigo. That sounds about the way it was here. Like it, it couldn't even get a little taste of rain. And now we're getting rainstorm and everything. DJ, every time I see <laughs> DJ, every time I see your name, I, for some reason I think about day, DJ Cat. That's why I be wanting to say I have to catch myself. <laughs> um, it's dry and Cali too. Wow, DJ. The Knox says, I've been putting up greenhouses all day because it's just too much rain. Wow. Wow, the Knox. Lavender for Lux says, Indigo, I'm in Georgia 7B. And you're right. We need the rain. Wow. Stephanie, Stephanie Young. Hey, Stephanie Young. Say hello to you. To your family, I got peppers, and I love it. Yes, Stephanie. Yes. What type of peppers do you have? What type of peppers? Um, Mix House. Hey, y'all. Hey, Mix House. How you doing? Precious SoCal Gardener said it's been 90 degrees every day in Cali, where I live. Wow. Yeah. Girl. Whoo. Hot. <laughs> Mix House said your shelves make me miss. Honey. Oh, Mix House. Oh my goodness. I miss Coupon too, but Coupon is not the way it used to be. It has changed a lot and not really, not really the concept of Coupon. And the way the deals that they advertise it and everything like that, and it will cause you to spend out of pocket just for you to get stuff free or very, very cheap. And it's just, I'm trying to go a whole different way. When it comes with couponing, because I, I always said I would never start couponing, but in my area, the way the prices has changed and the um, the price for the coupons, and like they don't even service my area with the good coupons no more. I got to order them and all that. And then some of you guys were saying that, you know, you can't even get coupons in your area. It's going to change, honey, but I miss it completely. Like, I miss to the extent that I was couponing. So I, I get it, honey. I understand. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can do it that it don't stress me out no more because the price is just different here. It just it's just different from what it used to be. Um, DJ says 66 degrees here. No, 66 degrees in SoCal. Wow, 66 degrees. That's that's a good tip. Not too cold. Not too hot. Um, Mix House said, yes, it has, and you can't get the deals like you used to. It's better to coupon digitally only now. Yes. Um, and then, you know what? I get upset with the digital because even with the digital, I know I could get it cheaper if I had that manufacturer coupon for some of them deals. But, and then you could only do it. You have to have so many accounts and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's, it's, Yeah. It's different now. It's different now. So, hopefully it'll get better where I can start back. But, even even like with CVS, they've been changing the prices and doing trial runs. Like, to spend 30 to get 10 back ECBs. Went up for a little bit to spend 40 to get 10 back. They're trying to make you use your ECBs and stuff. And it's just like, uh-uh. So, yeah. So now I'm doing clearance. Clearance, clearance. Precious says 66 degrees. They must be in the mountains of SoCal. I'm way in the I'm way in the inland. And we have so many regions and different weather in Cali. It's crazy out here. Wow, girl. Wow. Wow. You you burn it up. And they they got the perfect temp. 
And y'all's in the same state, just different areas. That's the way it be, honey. Andrew said, what's for dinner tonight, Em? I'm still remembering that barbecue you did the other day. I got hungry the same time. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I don't know what's for dinner. I don't feel like making anything. Um, after I had the lunch, and the lunch was um, <laughs> something simple. Because by the time we came from her, um, from her doing her math test, we was tired. So I did squash. Like, um, saute some squash up, and I'm going to tell you, I put hot dogs on the side. Not with the bread, um, just the actual hot dogs with saute squash. Oh, my goodness. So good. And then give them, like, a pudding and something to give them more calories, and we was done. We was done. So, I don't even know. I don't know what's for dinner. It's going to be something easy, though, because I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. It may be homemade subs. Something easy. Um, DJ said, I live by the ocean. Oh, okay. That explains it, DJ. Um, Andrew says, sounds nice. I guess sounds nice. Uh, Precious said, okay, DJ, yes, it is cooler in the, in the beach area, too. You're blessed. It's been 90 degrees every day where I live. Wow. Carmen said, is it true that a person can use expired coupons <laughs> on military bases? No. You're not supposed to be using expired coupons anywhere. Um, now, maybe back in the day you could, but no. Because at one point they said if it was a military coupon, if it was a coupon that you got from the military, you could use it like up to two days later. But last time I checked in my area, you can't use no expired coupons now. Um, yeah. So I would not tell nobody to go to the commissary somewhere trying to use the expired coupon. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I think I heard that somewhere. But I know for sure the the bases here we can't use expired coupons. So. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for telling me yes, Carmely. Cause sometimes you have couponers that will let me tell you what they used to do and it, it used to happen on base i used to see it on base a lot at the commissary you would go down the aisle and you would see people had put coupons up they wasn't military coupons they was regular you know sunday insert coupons and they'll put them on the shelf and you know somebody come by and use that coupon and the coupon is expired okay they're expired and you will have, sometimes you will have some people, like I will always have my binder or whatever, so you knew I was a couponer. And you had some, some women will come and give you a coupon. Hey, this right here is on sale for this price, and this coupon. The coupon will be either two things, expired or the wrong coupon for the item. When I say the wrong coupon, the sizes then, um, then, then, um, go together. And I had somebody do this to me. I don't know if she didn't think I was an experienced couponer or what the case may be. She gave me the coupon and she went around the aisle and stood where she could see the registers. I took the coupon, looked down. When I realized she was she was looking, she was um where she could see the register. When I got up there, I did everything. I guess she thought I gave her the coupon. I didn't get a lady the coupon because I knew it wasn't for the right item. And she comes through, and I, I didn't even let her go through it. Once I bagged up and everything, I got ready to leave, and I walked back to her because she had got in line and everything, had her buggy filled up with all this daggone tie that it didn't even go for the coupon. And I told her, I said, I wouldn't do that if I was you. And she's like, well, I said, because that's not the right size. I didn't use, I bought my tie straight out. I didn't use this coupon. And she's just looking like, I'm like, you don't do people like that because you got people that don't know and you're going to stand back to see if the coupon worked. And then you're going to go and use these coupons. And I, I could have just let her one on through with it and been embarrassed. I'm like, I told her, I was like, I've been couponing for a while. 
when you gave them to me and you went around to the because I saw her what well, really alerted me I saw her put coupons up on the shelf that was expired why are you gonna do that and you know they expire and you know people come in that may be like oh somebody left some coupons I'm gonna use this don't even pay attention to it's expired and I saw her put them up there and then you're gonna hand me some coupons and say yeah this is for this item and then you're gonna go around the shelf and gonna look and watch to see if I was gonna have a problem at the register. I didn't even use the daggone coupon. I picked up one tie and I was like, you know, I paid the money out of pocket for that tie. I didn't even need the tie. I paid the money out of pocket for that tie just to, just so I could see if she was gonna come to that. She came right to that register behind me with all her tie because she thought I used that coupon. And I'm like, ma'am, you you know this ain't the right coupon for it. She was trying to get the 92 loads. I think it was 92, no. It had to be like the 70 some lows. It was a lower low because it was cheaper. But she was trying to use the coupon for the higher price. Like like the, the Todd that's like $12, $13. They give you like the $3 off coupon. She was trying to use the $3 off coupon that was for the size of the $13 one for the smaller sizes of like the $4, $5, $6 tie. And I'm like because it was cheaper and she would have got it for free so you have to be careful when people tell you and when they give you coupons and stuff if y'all in these stores and people hand you stuff they will set you up not everybody now but some of them will set you up just to see what your experience is when you go to that register with that product when they knowing that it's not the right coupon for it so be careful y'all when y'all do that Um, Andrew says, so the harvest time for brassicas is 90 days and most other vegetables right now. Got you, Andrew. Um, because I know just right now, though, brassicas is just not doing good in my area. It is, whew, it's not. DJ said, I never tried using coupons at the commissary. For real, DJ? Girl. I used to stock up at the commissary with, um, coupons. Andrew says, I started planting in March this year. The beets look like they soon ready. Yeah, I took mine up. Mine was ready a couple weeks ago. Um, so keep an eye on those, Andrew, those beets. Sheila said, um, here in Houston, they arrested people for that very thing. Yup, and people will set you up for that. Just, to, just to, they'd rather give you those and see if, if you're going to go through with it before they actually go through with it. And that's just sad. That's just sad. Yeah, she tried it, honey. She tried it. She, I have been couponing since 2012. And this happened, like, I think 2016, 17, something like that, where she tried it. She tried it. She tried it. I paid that $9 out of pocket for that time just so... Just so she could see that, uh, no, you don't do that. This, this is not for that for that right one. So she's standing at the register. When I walk back and saw her, she's standing at the register, looking at the cashier with all this tide and all these coupons that they don't even go for. So I told her, she was like, well, because she said, what well, you just did. No, I didn't. I didn't give her that. Here is the coupon right here in my binder. You can have that back. I paid for this straight out just because I knew what you was doing. I knew you were trying to set me up. And the thing is, I could have told her, but when I saw her give it to me and hear her go around the corner, and I come up and you standing there just look, just staring, I'm like, yo, you tried to set me up. So, get what? I'm going to just roll right on with it, but I ain't using that coupon. DJ said, pray for everyone's well. Ben, ben yes. Yes, DJ. Lavender for Lux say, where online do you find digital coupons trying to stock up? Um, digital coupons normally, well, if it's digital, it's normally in the app, like your CVS app, your Walgreens app, uh, whatever grocery store you have in your area that offer coupons, um, like your download they have, like here, Food Lion, Lowe's Food, Publix, um, they are the digital is actually the coupons in the app. Like when I when I do the Dollar General and the Family Dollar um coupon for y'all, and I say it's in the app. You have to clip it. Those are digital coupons. Now, if you want to find printable coupons that's online, 
coupons.com. Some of those printable sites are shady. Some of the coupons you can print that it, it, they're not they're not legit coupons, so you have to be careful with most printable sites. But coupons.com is a credible site. So you go to coupons.com if you want printable coupons. But um, if your store has like apps, they normally have the digital coupons that you can load in the app. Um, Carmelie said, wow, setting people up. I know, Carmelie, and hmm, there's some creatures out here, and I'm, I ain't calling people creatures. I'm call well, I'm calling people creatures, but I'm calling the, the ones that, that try to set you up and doing all this craziness, them creatures. <laughs> that was just wrong. Andrew said, do you juice some of your greens? And I used to juice. I used to juice back in 2015. Uh, 2015, it was when I first started my channel. I was juicing everything, y'all, everything. But I stopped juicing. I still have my juicer, but I stopped juicing. Um, no particular reason. No, I'll take that back. It was a particular reason. You waste a lot of the daggone food just to get the juice out of it. So, yeah. Um, so I used to, but I haven't juiced in a long time. Probably need to start back. <laughs> Um, let's see, lavender for Lux said thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get off in here. Um, I need to go cut up this squash, vacuum seal it, put it in the freezer. Sound like it's gonna stop raining, but that's another thing. When it do stop raining, even though it's warm, the mosquitoes is out because it's so much wetness and stuff. And just said I never drink any. I never drink any green juice. Oh my goodness. I used to love it. I used to put some carrots with some spinach. Um, and what was it? Carrots, spinach, and beets. Oh my goodness. The sweetness from the beets used to be so, so good. And um, I do used to do cucumber juice in a lot of different things. A lot of different things. You may be able to find juicing videos. If you go back to my playlist, that's um, I have a playlist on there that's um, like it's like 2015 videos and up or something like that, where it's just a whole lot of random different stuff. You may find some there, but my favorite was the uh, and, oh, and don't juice an apple with some spinach. Oh my goodness, what you talking about? So good, so good. <laughs> um, Persia said, do smoothies instead of juice. You won't waste any food. Exactly. Yep. I have done smoothies. Um, I have done um, smoothies, but I'm going to tell you my problem with the smoothies is because the things that I like to add to my smoothies, like I be liking like the kiwi and the pineapple and stuff to the smoothies, like to the greens, and I can't can't have like, I can't have pineapple and stuff because of the acidic, acidic, um, because it's acidic. So, I just stopped doing smoothies because of that. Like, yeah, I may need to start back doing some smoothies though. I know I used to use um this this dough smoothie mix where it's kind of frozen all the fruit, and I think I stopped because the one I really like had kiwi in it, and so yeah, I may start back. I did smoothies. Did I do smoothies this year? Or was it last year? I was doing smoothies again, so I, that may help me for having a different breakfast. Is going back to smoothies. We'll see, y'all. We'll see. Um, and you said, I think I will like the beets. It's good. It's good. But I have to be careful with beets. Beets is very potent, especially the juice. Like, it is very potent. And when I say that, it's a lot of vitamins in it at once. And so, yeah, I, I, if I did beets, I would do like a piece of a beet. You know. Um, Precious said, I'm thinking. I want a smoothie right now. Actually, Precious, I'm actually thinking the same thing. Like, oh my goodness, a watermelon spinach smoothie will be so good. So good. You got me think. See? 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 <laughs> um, Sue's Urban Garden says sweet potatoes are to be planted in May and June. And potentially April, potatoes are to be planted in winter months, such as January and February. Well, Sue, in my area, I mean, I don't know if you're new to the channel. 
I don't follow any garden rules. That's just me. So I try to stay away from when I can plant because sometimes it say to plant this, but y'all see the weather changes. The weather changes from what Google. Sometimes the weather people don't even know what it's going to do from one minute to the next. They constantly changing and updating in my area like crazy. I planted potatoes. Uh, dang, I got to go back on that video now to see when I planted. I planted potatoes. Hmm. I know it wasn't January and February. You said January and February. It was probably more like March, April. Yeah. That I planted my potatoes. And they did fine. They did just perfect. Okay? And my thing is, what I go back when it comes to potatoes, back home, you know, potatoes is picked in the hot, hot sun. Hot, hot sun. So what that takes, because it don't take long for potatoes to grow and to become mature and stuff like that. It don't take that long. So back home, they planted all through the season. Heat, heat, heat. Not just like January and February. So you have to look at your, your area and where you're located. But I'm used to it, just bringing back memories. They be hot and you sweating people out there digging potatoes. So and I know that ain't January, February months. So that's kind of like how I kind of go off from it. I, some, I'm going to be honest, y'all. I look at the back of the thing. I read it. Sometimes it's a plant during this time. I plant when I want to plant it. And it grows and it produces. And yeah. So I understand, hun. But I did not plant mine January or February. I planted them, like I say, March, close to April. And I've already harvested. So... Yeah, I, I, I don't think it was February. It wasn't February when I planted. No, it wasn't February. I was still showing y'all how to do indoor garden. So, yeah. Andrew said me too. Andrew said she get, she get me thirsty. She get me, got me thirsty already. <laughs> Precious, stop laughing. <laughs> the knock said I do the same thing. I plant when I get ready. Exactly. Exactly. No rules in this garden over here. No rules in the garden. Things changes. You have to change with it. And it just is what it is. That's just how I garden. You know, how I garden. Um, let's see. Andrew says, yes, here in the tropics, we grow sweet potatoes at different times of the year. See, yeah. It just depends. Sheila said, planted my potatoes in March. Sweet potatoes plant it in april there you go you know plant when you get ready um because they say like we wasn't supposed to have the last couple frosts we had google said the time was this time the weather mother nature said now i'm coming back with another frost and i'm finna kill everything that you done planted because you listen to google <laughs> and that's pretty much just what happened that pretty much what happened so they told me don't take my okra my plants outside straight out the house let them harden off i didn't even harden them off and i told you i will i wanted to experiment with that i didn't even harden off and some of them still growing out there that frost kills some of them but they but some of them like my okra some of my okra is from where i took them out what february end of january early february or something like that and they growing perfectly um karma lee said I could only afford to put carrots, apples in my, I could only afford to put carrots, apples in my smoothies. Everyone laughed at me. Hey, it still was a smoothie, honey. It still was a smoothie. Carrots and apples sound good, too, to be a smoothie. Now that I think about it, <laughs> that sounds really, really, really good. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off in here. Um, like I said, if you haven't checked out ways to co um, communicate with me and stuff like that, it is in, it is in the community tab on um, the channel. So check out the community tab. If you have any questions, some of you guys say um, you be wanting to say something or reach out to me or you don't want to, you're not a person that want to be spotlighted or whatever like that, that is totally fine. So I put my email there. You know how to reach me on Facebook. You can reach me on Messenger if you're in the group. You can reach me on Instagram, um, whatever the case may be. Some of you guys have asked about do I have like a P.O. box or anything like that. 
I had a P.O. Box. I got rid of the P.O. Box. I'm going to get the P.O. Box back. Um, some of you guys don't like to send Super Chats because I guess you like to keep it, you know, prior, which I understand that. So I did include my Cash App on there. You're not obligated to send anything. I put it on there for those of you that, you know, wants to use that or the PayPal. So that's the only reason why it's in my community tab. Um, so you have a whole list of things, ways to, you know, contact me and whatever the case may be. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here so I can go do a couple things that I have to do. Um, Andrew said, we don't really pick a sweet potato time to plant because with the increase in population, you have to plant full. Oh, hey, you said it. You said it, Andrew. You said it. Hey, just get it in there and see what's going to happen. 2% said, take care of Mississippi, be safe, keep growing, see you next time. Thank you, 2%. You be safe too, hon. And you said, thank you, enjoy your evening, M. was nice being here. Thank you, Andrew, for coming in. I enjoy each and every one of y'all. So with that being said, I'm going to see you in the next one. If it's God's will, y'all be safe and happy gardening, y'all. Bye.